The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. So, I'm a... I'm a grown-up man. I'm 30 now. And... I... I just can't believe that... A kid's show would... would uh, make adults ugly cry. Hi, Post Prodian here. I would just like to make this quick content or trigger warning as this video or parts of it may contain emotions or thoughts that may distress or upset you by the mere mention of them. If that disturbs you, I wouldn't mind you clicking off right now if it is for your own well-being. If you're watching this from the Philippines, I have linked some contact details for any mental health related assistance you may need on screen right now and in the video description. Also, please feel free to talk to someone you absolutely trust or reach out to someone who you think needs someone to talk to. Whatever you're thinking right now, please remember that you are not alone. You will never be alone. Thank you. Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Intrepidian Reñon, an independent alternative media practitioner among other things. And welcome to another um, episode of the Intrepid Show. The reason why I'm um, speaking softly is because I'm the only one awake at this time in the afternoon due to Intrepid HQ on a Friday afternoon of, of, all, you know, of all times. And... Uh, I'm currently in the post prod process of um, rendering uh, two back-to-back -back, um, videos um, regarding the Mandela catalog. So um, after after uh, watching some horror shit, I'm shifting gears into um, into something that. Uh, is um, something people find therapeutic, even if they're, if even if they're adults, because this kids show called Bluey, and uh, ironically I'm wearing red, but, but it's not a no. I mean it's it's irrelevant. This um, it's is Bluey is an Australian um, kids show. Uh, centered around um, the healer family it's actually um, a family of uh, an anthrom anthrom anthropomorphic dogs or for some reason I'm not sure why but um, basically they are talking dogs in that uh, in in an alternative um, uh, in an alternative Queensland in Australia it's an Aussie show and um, some say that uh, this series uh, was not uh, was originally catered to kids and uh, and what impacted uh, this show to uh, be known to everyone else is because it's um, it's not dumbing down the kids but it's of uh, elevating uh, child's play uh, to a level that both parents and children would um, would understand and uh, everyone's just um, with all that with all the bad things that happened in the past few decades especially the personal lives of some of us um, we have daddy issues mommy issues we have um, self-esteem issues 
a lot of mental health shit and uh, not to mention neurodiversity um uh upping the ante kumbaga uh it's uh this kind of show or this kind of um program is something that even parents um uh supervising their children watching this show can relate to kasi uh it's not just a anyway, it's not just um it's not just a child thing kasi um even parents are crying their eyes out for uh, that um and they were thinking i i wish i had this when i was young and um that's actually the same thing for me kasi uh i'm not e- i i don't i haven't even talked about this but uh for the longest time i've been uh uh burnt out and um i'm into recovery mode of course pero uh this program just made me realize that the first person that i must heal is my inner child i get it that i have been raised very well by the mother superior but pero she also has her own flaws i love her for that but um of course it's it's past but the i can't say trauma pero the um, all that bullying all that um bad stuff it's still impacting me now that i'm 30 years old now that i'm a grown-up man and uh this kind of show is this kind of show is uh uh making my eyes wet at the very least But last night, prior to this recording, when I watched this um, this specific episode called Sleepy Time, fuck, I was crying myself to sleep. Really. Nahirapan ako maging open sa audience ko, mga kababayan, but I guess it's... I think this is healthy for um uh but me to it's healthy that I do this thing and uh I don't even know if I'm going to just upload this straight to the internet or lalagyan ko pa ng konting ano konting edit ng konti but uh just minimal kasi mga kabayan I'm, I'm Ironically, I've been as obsessed with the kids show because it it's therapeutic and a lot of um, a lot of creators here on YouTube who are um, who are uh, psychologists, psychiatrists, um, therapists, and um, the whole lot. For for them, they find eh, I'm not sure if they are recommending it, pero they acknowledge how uh, effective that um, how effective Bluey is. So, and I mean, I don't want to say I'm a fan, pero if ever I have a child. If ever na magkaroon ako ng anak, I'll show this to him. Not this video. I'll show Bluey. And um, he would not only um, he would not only realize how uh, 
how important it is or how impactful it is to me and to other children before him or her. Hindi ko alam kung lalaki o babae magiging anak namin or uh, magiging anak ko, ganyan. I'm, I'm not yet a father, but if ever I become a father, I would definitely... I would definitely um, tell what the mom on that episode told uh, her her daughter. Zabinya, no matter what happens. I'll be here for you, even you don't, if you don't see me because I love you. And kung hindi ka umiiyak nung, pina, nung pinanonood mo yan, I think hindi ka tao. Perhaps even Miss Intrepid would would ball her eyes out. Kasi sinare ko sa kanya ito kagabi. I'm not sure if she's gonna ball her eyes out, but pretty sure she would. She might even be a fangirl. But, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh. This is just too impactful, you know. I mean, I guess this is my road to recovery. At least I'm still human. At least I'm still, I'm still human. I still, I still have these big emotions. Uh, even though this channel is all about um, all about uh, intellectual stuff, or um. Even though this channel is about intellectual stuff, or uh, let's let's even um, say that we're about uh, uh, the usual things that YouTubers do, we're still human, and it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be moved. By this kind of uh, by this kind of uh, content or this kind of um, this kind of uh, show or this kind of program, because a lot of people have watched Sleepy Time, they watched Bluey, and um, their life sucked less. And honestly, it it did on my end. So, effective siya. Ilang mo sasabi ko. Anyway, I've been rambling a little bit too long. Uh, I just wanted to uh, put this out there kasi uh, if I didn't in if I, if I delayed uh, tackling this video I would be, you know, I would be, um, I mean, my reaction would be, uh, my reaction wouldn't be as genuine as it is now. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's all that I have to say at this point, and, um, with all that said, this is Intepidi and Dengan, reminding you to, at all times, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive. Be kind to yourself and to each other, especially now more than ever. And remember that it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be uh, be emotional at times because we're human. And if a if a if a children's show uh, make us made us cry. That only means we're, we're we're human, and that also means the creators of Bluey have done an absolutely superb job. 
And as always, thank you for watching. From here in the Depot HQ. Uh, see you next time. Yeah, now.